Hello, my name is Tran Langford, and I'm here today to talk about properly lighting a stage using three-point lighting. People often ask, what are the best fixtures to use for front, side, and rear lighting? Well, there are three main options to choose from. There are Legos, Fresnels, and PARs. Let's talk and demonstrate the difference in a little more detail. Leco light, often referred to as a Leco, is a brand of ellipsoidal reflector spotlight, otherwise known as an ERS. It was developed in 1933 by Joseph Levy and Edward Cook. The inventors used the first two letters of their last name, L-E and K-O, to create the name Leco. This nickname has stuck with the lighting instrument and is used to this day as the name for any ERS fixture, much like the terms rollerblade and Kleenex are generally references for inline skating and tissue paper. So when getting back to the fixture, the Leco light, or Leco, is a focusable light with options of framing the light to the size and the shape needed for the application. The Leco can be focused internally by moving the barrel back and forth to create a very sharp, crisp edge or softer edge, depending on the desired effect. So here we have set up behind me a whole line of Leco's. And you'll notice that they are all on the same plane, but they do all have different barrel sizes in them. This is so that we can effectively demonstrate the differences between everything from a 10 degree up to a 50 degree barrel. When I'm referring to barrels, I'm referring to what I'm holding in my hand. As we talked about earlier, Leco's are controlled by changing the barrels, and those barrels will come in a variety of degree angles. Everything from 5, 10, 14, 19, 26, 36, 50, 70, and 90 degree barrels can all be used to achieve the desired effect. Those barrels will usually be indicated by a number on the side of the lens, such as this one that I'm holding, which is a 36 degree barrel. What we're going to do is we're going to now bring up the different barrels onto the wall so that you can see the diameter of the circle. We're going to start with a 50 degree barrel. You can see that it's very, very wide. It comes out as, well, you guessed it, 50 degrees from the source of the light. We'll move down to now a 36 degree barrel, moving to a 26 degree barrel, then down to a 19, a 14 degree barrel, and a 10 degree barrel. So you can see from that demonstration, we have all these different fields of light that we can cover using a variety of different barrels, but you will also notice that the intensity of the light changes because we went from a 50 all the way down to a 10 degree barrel. Now that we've covered the different barrel and degree options you have available in the Leco, I want to talk about the internal operations of the Leco itself. You have two real main options. It's the barrel itself, and then there's shutters on the Leco. The barrel, which we're going to talk about first, you can either move it forward or backward, creating a nice sharp crisp edge or a softer edge, much like you can see here. The second option you have available to you are the shutters. You can move the shutters in from top, bottom, left and right sides to create the achieved effect. So if I move the shutter from the one side, as you can see, I'm cutting off the light on the right hand side. If I move the shutter from the other side, I'm cutting the light off on the left hand side. The same would of course apply to the top and bottom. As I move the shutter, the bottom is cut off, and as I move the last shutter, the top is cut off. And now I've achieved almost a square. The other thing you can do with the barrel is you can also rotate it. So just to recap, you can run the barrel out, you can rotate the barrel, you can use the shutters to frame the subject of light. 